Hey, 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 Capricorn. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So this is for my Cappies, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Write down below there, Cappies, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, Cappy. So let's see what's uh, happening for you. What's going on for my Capricorns? The Six of Wands. Princess of Swords. The Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. What else is going on? Princess of Wands. The Death Card. All right, let's see what's up here. You're working on yourself, Capricorn. Internally and externally. I feel like by doing this, you're raising your confidence. You're going after what you want. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Yeah. You're going after your happiness here with the Sun card. It could be a Leo because you got Leo twice here. Tell me about this. Seven of Wands and Two of Pentacles. Hmm. Are you making some sort of decision? Four of Wands. You could be making a decision or will be about some sort of commitment here. There's a little bit of defensiveness, right? Are you seen in the public eye, Capricorn? Because especially with the sun shining on the Six of Wands. Or maybe this Leo is seen in the public eye. You're teetering back and forth about a decision. What is this decision? I feel like it is about the... Yeah, it's about it, taking a chance at a commitment here with the Four of Wands. Tell me about the Princess of Swords, the alien. Yeah, this is you going inward. Like I said, you're working on yourself internally and externally. So you're doing the hermit. You're listening to your intuition. You're seeking that wisdom and trying to make this decision whether to go after your happiness or not. Why wouldn't you, Capricorn? Why wouldn't you? And yes, it is that easy. King of Pentacles, Taurus energy could be Virgo, Capricorn, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So it's like you're, you're trying to look at this logically. Wow, you got a lot going on internally. Thinking about stability could be an earth sign here. But you have earth, you have Leo. You get all the signs here. And you're trying to figure out what is best for you. What's best for Capricorn? Clarifying the Eight of Pentacles is the Emperor, Aries, Taurus, Energy. You're going after what you want when it comes to work. Prince of Pentacles. Okay. So you may have been at this for a while, or maybe you're still at this. Whether this be, this could be work, this could be school, this could be mastering some sort of trade here. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you're taking advantage of some sort of opportunity, or you've been taking advantage of some sort of opportunity that has to do with work. At the same time, you get this decision to make about your life. Tell me about the Princess of Wands. King of Wands.
This could be a younger fire sign here, Aries, Leo, Sag. Maybe that's the decision between two people. That could be it. Who is this Princess of Wands to Capricorn? Princess of Cups. Yes, yeah, somebody that either offered you their cup or you them. Five of Pentacles. Why do you feel the Five of Pentacles? Why is that here? Three of Cups. I feel like Capricorn, some of you could be dating right now and you're sort of feeling lonely dating. It's like not what you're looking for. I feel like you're getting a lot of offers, but it's like, mm, I'm not, that's not what I want because your happiness is over here. So it's like, it's not fulfilling you. And these are the things that you're looking at inwardly, right? And figuring out if you should take that leap of faith. Clarifying the death card is the eight of wands. So there's some sort of communication coming in, some sort of um, passionate communication. Another offer, Capricorn. Ooh, the high priestess. Is this a secret love? This could be a secret love. This could be a Gemini Pisces. This is somebody who's very intuitive. This is going to be a surprise. What do you think about this? What does Capricorn think about this? Ooh, two of swords. <laughs> I feel like you're like, oh my God, this is just adding to my indecisiveness right now. So there's confusion. You're going to end up confused. You're going to have a lot of different offers and you're like, what do I do? In the midst of you trying to either master a skill, working hard at something. So what is it that you want, Capricorn? Let's see. What is it that Capricorn wants overall? What is it that Capricorn wants? The Empress, Taurus, Libra energy. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Could be a Taurus. So you're wanting commitment. You're wanting expansion. So how does this person feel about Capricorn. Oops. Ooh, Seven of Swords. They feel like you're sneaky sneaky. Or they could just be running away. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Temperance. I feel like they're healing over you. Queen of Wands. They feel passion towards you because the Queen of Wands is very sexual, right? Four of Pentacles. They may be hanging on to you. The Chariot. They want to move forward. So I feel like they're just as confused as you. It's like they're all over the place here. Right? So you've got to figure out, I don't know, you got to figure out a plan, Stan. Right? Just make a decision. Queen of Pentacles. Be that Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, that's you. That's stability. Start from there. Get your stability. Get your ground. Gain your ground. And then what do you want to do moving forward? Because you've got your options, right? You just gotta you just gotta figure out what it is that you want, what's gonna make you happy. So what is your advice? Make a decision. Two of wands. Right? There's something you possibly need to leave behind. Healing also. Right? Going within. And letting go. Ten of swords. So it could be something that you need to let go of here. The world. And starting a new cycle. So you get a lot of tinking to do Capricorn. But there's a lot of good shit here. Right? I feel like you're going to be successful at whatever it is that you're working on here. And there's success in love. It's just, you know, what you want to experience. It's basically it. What world do you want to experience? 
and the world is splitting. So <laughs> what side are you going to be on? All right. So can I have an animal to call in while you're meditating? Capricorn, we have the humpback whale. Music is essential to your healing and well-being, whether singing, playing an instrument or listening. So get a piece of music that uplifts you, Capricorn, and listen to it. But also call in the humpback whale in meditation. Um, wow, the whale is a powerful animal to take you on a journey. That's for sure. It's taken me on a journey. So call in this humpback whale. And remember, the whale is the holder of Akashic rec records of the past. Okay? So a lot of information that this whale has to offer you so call this whale in during meditation see what happens don't have any expectations just call the whale in all right capricorn i hope this resonated please drop a like below share and subscribe if you already haven't if you're interested in a personal reading that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs information can be found in the description box below don't forget to comment as well let me know if this resonates i want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell that way you get notified whenever i upload a video or go live have a great day and i will catch you on the flip side tomorrow on the dailies namaste